Hello everybody, I am Heather and I'm here with a little haul video today. I went shopping initially just for a December daily album at my favorite local store, the Paper and Ink Boutique, and I found a few other things as you can see. Um, Paper and Ink had some really great Black Friday sales on. Um, I'm filming this Saturday and yesterday was Black Friday, but they still had a couple items on sale today for Saturday. And this traveler's notebook was one of them along with a couple inserts that I got. So I'm pretty excited about that. It was an unexpected, unplanned purchase. Well, I guess the rest of this was apart from the December Daily album. So I'll start with this. This is by Snap by Simple Stories and it's the Holiday Binder 2 inch D ring and it's a 6x8. Um, I chose this one because it's a little bit thicker than the other choices that they had um, by Snap and it says a 2 inch ring but the binding is actually almost three inches, about two and three quarter inches. So I'm happy about that because of course my December dailies get really thick. Um, it came with a bunch of pocket pages and some other pieces in here. This is great for December. It even says December up there with the calendar. Um, but I probably won't use these insert pieces because they don't coordinate with the Wild Whisper collection that I'm going to be using for my December daily. A couple of them might, so we'll see. Um, and I like this interior pattern. It will coordinate pretty well, but I'm probably going to alter the cover a little bit. Um, the cream is pretty neutral and I like this pattern, but I will probably cover over the wreath because I don't have any green in my collection that I'm using. Same with these little areas. So I'll see if I completely cover it or if I keep some areas. I'm thinking something very mixed media and grungy looking. Um, so that will be fun to alter. And that is what I went for. Um, next is the Traveler's Notebook by Echo Park here. And I've already opened this up, but it's in a really nice package. This was originally $41.25, and you can see the little $10 sticker. So it was 75% off, which is amazing, along with all the other um, notebook inserts that go with this. And it's really high quality. I love this. So that's an amazing price. Um, if you don't live in Calgary and can't shop at Paper and Ink Boutique, check their online store, which I will link below. She might have these online, I'm not sure. Same with any of this stuff. Um, Julia and Glenn, the owners, are really awesome and they're good friends of ours. Um, mine and Susie's, that is. My <laughs> I should back up. If you've never watched my videos, I'm a co-owner of Wild Whisper and the Paper and Ink Boutique stocks Wild Whisper stuff, so that's really awesome. And Susie is my business partner, so when I say we, I mean her and I are good friends with Julia and Glenn. Anyways, so this is a really thick traveler's notebook. It's textured. You can kind of see the leather sort of texture there, but it is um, faux leather and it opens with the regular type elastic closure and inside it has these pockets. So it's got one big here and then three little pockets here. And then at the back, it's got another big here and a second pocket there that goes, I think, all the way to the bottom. It's embossed with Echo Park's logo, which is really nice. And it has a, um, what's this called? Pen holder. Um, it's got four elastics in here to put your notebooks in. So I've got three notebooks in there and one extra elastic. This black and white stripe one is blank inside and it comes with the notebook and it's just some thin white paper. Um, I'd have to test this out but it probably would bleed if you stamped on it. And then I purchased this notebook and this notebook as a pair. They've both got subtle uh, plaid on them, the more bold matching plaid to match the cover on this one. And those were also 75% off, so I think they're regular 12 and I got them for $3, which is amazing. These ones are thicker than the one it comes with. You can see how many pages 
as they compare there, so it's more than twice as thick, I would say. And the paper in this one, let's see, I think it's about the same, so it's still pretty thin, um, but you can always add layers on top of that too. So I'm excited to use this. I briefly considered in the store using this for December daily just because it's really nice and Christmassy looking um, or holiday-ish, winter-ish in general. It just feels cozy to me but I'm too set on using the pocket pages. I really like that format for my December daily so I am gonna stick with that but I'll come up with a good project for this as well. Um, next I bought some more pocket pages so they only had the 4x6 ones so there's two 4x6 slots and these are by snap so I know they'll fit in my album here um, and as I said a few come with the album and I've got a few so this was a good addition just to make sure I have enough and then onto the little embellishments and things. These are so cute. If you follow Paper and Ink Boutique, you may have just seen them share these metal embellishments that they just got in. They're so beautiful. Look at this giant wing one. This little detailed wing is really beautiful. And there's also, I got a couple of these little wings. So those are really nice too. And I got some dragonfly wings. I've never seen charms like this before, so I think those are really cool. I want to attach them together, I think, and as if they're from the same side of the dragon's body, dragonfly's body, and hang them on something. I've got a few keys here. I recently used a bunch of my key charms to make flying keys from Harry Potter, so these are a few to restock my stash, and they're just really pretty and ornate. And that one says 1964 on it. I got a couple of these wood slices in different sizes, and I think I will try to sand it smooth and stamp on these bigger ones. And for these little ones in the store, I saw a clasp idea using some elastic, like this kind of thing. And one was on the back of the album and one was on the front, and the elastic like wraps around and then uses this as a knob on the front to close the album. So I'm going to try and do that with those. Um, and then I got a couple washies. I think this is a Tim Holtz one, but they had them in a bulk bin, so that was really cool. And I like this because I think I'll use it if I document Halloween. It matches great with our Halloween night collection from Wild Whisper, but also I want to use it on some Harry Potter potions that I've made, so that'll be fun. And then this is just a nice little hexagon black and white pattern. I always can use those. Um, Julia put all my little things in this bag, which was really nice. And then I just got this Simple Stories cut apart sheet um, for all the cute travel thingies. And I'm going to probably pre-cut these all out and use them as little die cuts when I go to scrapbook travel themed stuff. The reverse is just some polka dots, so that's pretty usable too. Um, but that's my haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing this. And if you're interested, go check out the link to the Paper and Ink Boutique down below and check out her online shop if you're not in Calgary. I think they ship Canada wide, so that's really great if you're in Canada. Or if you liked any of these things and aren't in Canada, check out your local scrapbook store to see if you can get them there. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.